The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 was a most powerful processor in the mid-range segment, as it was based on flagship specifications. After Snapdragon 778G, 7 Plus Gen 2 was most favorite and well-performing CPU. And now Qualcomm's just launched the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 as every year. So, let's check whether it is an upgrade or not. The last year 7 Plus Gen 2 was based on one Cortex X2 performance core, which was clocked at 2.91 GHz, three Cortex A710 cores clocked at 2.49 GHz, and four Cortex A510 cores clocked at 1.8 GHz. But for 7 Gen 3, it completely looks different. The prime core of 7 Gen 3 Cortex A715 was clocked at 2.63 GHz, three Cortex A715 cores clocked at 2.4 GHz, and four Cortex A710 cores clocked at 1.8 GHz. There is a huge difference in the performance frequencies, and these are not only technically different, they also affect the whole performance level. This is the Intudu score of 7 Plus Gen 2, which is 11 lakhs, while 7 Gen 3 only offers around 8 lakhs. Also, here is Geekbench single and multi-core score where 7 Plus Gen 2 performance is also great. The main difference was due to Cortex X2 core, which made 7 Plus Gen 2 a sub-flagship processor. It doesn't mean that 7 Gen 3 is a bad processor. When we compare it with mid-range processors, its performance is insane. Thanks for your time. Do subscribe to us for more tech news.